This might look like a situation chart in the uh, war room, but what it is is actually a graphic at a Hong Kong company of the health of the internet. Now this whole issue of hacking goes back uh, you know, a long way obviously. You've heard about the hacks on uh, Fortune 100 companies, the Central Intelligence Agency, you know all about phone hacking because of the news of the world scandal, the tabloid scandal in Britain. Of late, hacking has really come home to roost and hit home here in Hong Kong, among other places, because the Hong Kong Exchange, at least their information website where company information is disseminated, was the subject of a DDoS or distributed denial of service attack. Network Box is a homegrown company here in Hong Kong just over a decade ago. It was founded by Michael Gaisley, who's an expert in this field and joins us to assess hacking and what does it mean to you. Hi Mike. Hi. Good to have you on the show. Thanks. How serious was this Hong Kong Exchange hack? If it was just the, you know, information website, it doesn't sound like, you know, they were out to steal anything. Well, I think that's the, uh, that's a really difficult question. Mm. We don't know what happened. Mm. And to this day, um, there seems to be two different versions because we hear the term hacked mm -hmm. and the distributed denial of service attack. Mm -hmm. We hear these interchangeably from different spokespeople uh, from the exchange. And in fact, they're, they're very different animals. A hack could be somebody coming in to do something criminal. They could be vandalizing, they could be stealing data, they could be altering data. Mm -hmm. But a distributed denial of service attack is mm -hmm. more about just overwhelming right. the normal services on a website mm -hmm. to the point where it becomes unavailable to regular users. Has the whole, uh, has, you know, has the whole hacking industry, I don't even, is, it, is it accurate to call it an industry? I mean, it started out with you know, like Trojans, viruses, worms, you know, uh, there was a code red about 10 yes. years ago, but it seems have gotten worse and worse and they, they've actually banded together into groups like Lulsec and Anonymous uh, uh, of late. I believe that it was, uh, was it Anonymous or Lulsec recently? They said they disbanded but you know I'm sure they're still interested in hacking. Has this whole thing snowballed out of control? Is that why you do what you do and have a thousand clients or more under your belt? Well I think calling it an industry is interesting because it has become largely about financial gain although in the specific examples that you're using there, mm -hmm. I think it, it, it's about belief, it's about politics. Mm -hmm. um, but most of the hacking out there now is about financial gain. Mm -hmm. It's not about just, uh, say, hacking or infecting your computer and taking it offline or formatting your hard disk and saying, ha, 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 we got you. Mm -hmm. It's about coming in and making money somehow. Mm -hmm. And exactly how it's done in each case um, is, is something for speculation. Mm -hmm. But what's really scary is most of the hacks out there, people don't know they've actually been done. Mm -hmm. And, and, you know, what can you do about something that you don't know about? Right. Well, first of all, uh, is there a surefire way to protect yourself? You know, they say that it's, it's, in terms of web security, it is a little bit hit or miss. I mean, it's like, you know, the bad guys are always ha hiding out behind the trees and they're always developing some new tools or coming up with some new arrows. So it's a con they're, con they're a constantly moving target. It's not It's like, an arms race. Yeah, uh -huh. It's definitely an arms race. Mm -hmm. And you... You know, in any kind of arms race, you want to be the guy that's one or two steps ahead, mm -hmm. not one or two steps behind. So mm -hmm. at Network Box, we pioneered push technology mm -hmm. where whenever a new security patch or security signature is available, we push it out to our thousands of clients around the world. So it's not like uh, getting a free AVG application, downloading it and sending it to auto-update and hoping you're safe. You're, I mean, you know, you've got a lot of people here that yeah. are online 24-7. And, and this I'm is just the Hong Kong part. I right. mean, we're all around the world. We mm -hmm. have security operations centers in the US, in the uh -huh. UK, in Australia, in Japan, in Korea, and so on. I mean, we're, we're all around the world. Yeah, but do a cost-benefit analysis for me. I mean, with a, with, a, you know, with, with a payroll like this, I mean, if I download a, you know, a, a, a freeware program and I'm like 97.5% safe, that's a lot more cost-efficient than paying. You, you must charge a bomb to have people here watching over my net security all the time. I, th I think one of our major selling points is we've tried to make this affordable as well as effective. Mm -hmm. um, network box security uh, for a 10-person company, you're talking somewhere around 100 US dollars to be protected. Um, you know, if, if you're a 50, 60, 70-person company, you're still talking about uh, you know, just a few hundred US a month. Mm -hmm. It's less than the price of a junior clerk. Mm -hmm. And I, I don't think that's too much to ask to be secured from the internet. Okay, and I guess you can do that with volume, right? With a, it, with it a critical really comes, mass of exactly. clients. I mean, having a thousand plus people on your, on your client list. Yeah. Then. Um, have we, you know, Hollywood has done, you know, no lack of, you know, movies, scare movies about how terrorists, you know, cyber terrorists have taken over power grids, nuclear power stations, you know, war games. Remember that movie yes. with Matthew Broderick? They yes. took over the nuclear You're making us sound old here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, from the same yeah. generation. Have we ever arrived at that? Are the hackers still 
hacks? Are they still amateurs in that sense? Can they, I mean, do we need to worry about them taking over power grids and you know, national defense systems and that sort of thing? Well, unfortunately, a lot of these sorts of things have already happened. Mm -hmm. um, how serious they, they, they've become, um, you know, so far we haven't had a, a massive disaster, but have power companies been affected? Yes. Mm -hmm. um, you know, have, well, uh, the, the, the most famous example, I mean, you've got uh, suspected governments trying to take out other governments nuclear programs with viruses so um, you know th this is not fantasy here this is stuff that's happening right now mm -hmm. so it's happening right around us as it we is speak. happening right around us as we speak and the scariest thing is we don't even know it sometimes yes exactly Michael on that note on that cheery <laughs> sure. note thank okay. you for joining us on Thanks. the show okay Thanks Michael Gaisley uh, founder co-founder and uh, managing director of Network Box watch out for yourself out there on the web can be a very, very dangerous place. It's mostly green for now, but that's just for now. Bernie, Bernie Lowe signing out on this edition of Straight Talk.